Hey everyone, welcome Preds World back. We're going to do a review of the Bumblebee from Prime One Studios. Uh, this one I just got in, even though it's been out for quite a while. Uh, but it's one of the pieces that I really wanted to get uh, for that collection. So uh, we're going to go ahead and assemble him, uh, and then we'll do a little bit of a review on him. Uh, and we're going to do that right after this. All right, welcome back. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we're gonna do uh, the assembly of Bumblebee, uh, do a quick review on him. Uh, so why don't we just go ahead and get started with that. Our handy dandy instructions here. It's pretty normal, uh, the assembly for these that um, styrofoam that you put the leg on and then you gotta grab the torso at the same time and put the leg on and then you gotta put it all together it's uh, I think almost every one of these transformers from this line is the same way Oh. Here they are. All right, so these pieces here are next. They actually said to put these on first uh, before you put it together, but I don't see the reasoning for it, so I'd rather have it assembled while I'm doing these. These just fit kind of snug in here. Uh, it's not magnetized or anything. And then this little piece goes right here. Okay. Got the torso on already. And we can go ahead and do the arms. After I look at it to make sure I'm doing this right. The hat makes more sense. All right. So that arm's on. This arm goes on this side here. And then I think you can do two different ones on this side. I like the cannon, so I'll probably use the cannon. Uh, but this is the other one, so we'll go ahead and put it on just so you guys can see it. Maybe. There we go. I do there's a few different hands here. Magnets are sticking together. Uh, so there's fists. Uh, there's open hands like this. So these are the open hand or the open hands. There's the fist here. So you guys can see it. And then those just go in there. So there's the fist. And there's the open hand. Let's go ahead and put the other side on. Again, this one's like a, just a fist uh, or an open hand. You can do either. You just slide in there. I have to decide which one I like. I think I like the fist better. So 
So this Bumblebee version I like a lot more than the latest movie that they had of Bumblebee uh, from the Transformers movies. Uh, I don't like that Bumblebee at all the way it looks, so I won't be getting that one, of course. All right, so we're going to stick with the fist on that one. Um, and this one we're actually going to just, we're not even going to use this arm. The reason I say that is because I want the blaster. So there's the blaster. Oh, that's why. It has the back showing. There's the doors. All right, so I would highly recommend that you put the tires in prior to putting these in. There you go, so that's the back. So definitely wanna put the tires in first uh, and then attach these. Uh, otherwise it does not look very well or it's just a lot harder to get in. And a couple small pieces here that we need to put in. These again go on the back. It's like you need to put them on a rotating pedestal so that you can appreciate everything you had to do to put it together. So these are gonna be tricky because I'm not sure where they go exactly. They're the tail lights. And they go up underneath somehow. Maybe if I had a magnifying glass, I could tell. <laughs> All right, I think I found it. There we go. They're like continuations of the pipes that they got here. This one's a little loose. Just wondering why it's not laying right, but. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it's going to come out or anything. All right, so that's that. Uh, the next are his rockets that go on his shoulders. And these... Gotta see if there's a... Way these go in. Yeah, that looks right. All right, there we go. All right, so we got two heads here. Um, 
One of them's kind of his normal mode, uh, and this is kind of his battle mode. Uh, I'm actually really fond of the battle mode, um, so that's the one I'll probably use. But just to give you an idea, do a quick spin here. Looks pretty good. I like him. All right, so this is the head that I will be using. And this is where the, the batteries are in here. So, and then I'm not sure where the switch is at for this one. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, there it is. The batteries probably need replaced because um, I think this was uh, one somebody previously owned. I did buy it from uh, Spec Fiction. So I'm going to take the batteries out just because I don't like leaving them in. All right. And there's kind of his battle head. Just the symbol on the base. All right, so just kind of go over it. So uh, obviously a concept, it's based off the movie, the Bumblebee from the movie. Um, so that, I mean, that's where it came from. Uh, and with all their Transformers, they, there's a ton of detail in it. Um, I, I mean, just everything, you know, the mechanics to it, the, the lines that they put in it. They even got the uh, license plate here. Super detailed. Um, not hard to assemble. This one didn't have a ton of pieces like some of the other ones do. Uh, so that's kind of nice. I'm really happy to add him to the collection. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters from the movie. Uh, obviously, he's one of the most popular. Um, but I wanted this version uh, just because I liked it a lot better with the, the missiles on the shoulders, uh, the arm cannon. Uh, I do like the last night version. But just having like that, the, you know, the hammer and stuff, um, I'd rather have it, you know, like this. And, and I like this design. You got to get all the styrofoam out of it still. So, yeah. So, uh, and, and the paint app is, you know, phenomenal. It, it's the same with all these transform ones that they have. Um, I have a couple others coming. Uh, I think probably the last one I'll get is Sentinel Prime. Uh, that one's <laughs> that one looks pretty good. He's probably going to go next to uh, Shockwave. But all right, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I hope the assembly helped you guys. Uh, like I said, it was a little difficult on the back here to get these uh, the doors on with the tires. So I recommend putting the tires in first. Um, let's see. And then hopefully this helps that it, if you guys are assembling one of these, that it goes in the back here. Um, everyone, thanks for viewing this. Uh, I just uh, wanted to do a closing real quick. It's actually been about a week and a half since I last uh, shot this, uh, and I'm editing it to get it uploaded today. So I wanted to just do a quick closing on it. Uh, I'm loving Bumblebee so far. Uh, I'm about to actually put him uh, up on the shelf where he's going to go next to Barricade. Uh, so, you know, I just want to let you know, if, you know, if you like the stuff that I'm doing, please, you know, subscribe. Uh, and then also hit that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Uh, and then please leave comments uh, so that I know if it's, you know, if I should do something different, uh, if I should add something to it. I'm definitely doing a lot more video editing um, and I'm learning a lot. So I'm going to be putting some of that into the videos that I do uh, just to kind of make it more of a, you know, entertaining for you guys. Uh, if there's something, though, you know, like I said in the comments, if there's something you think I should add, uh, something I shouldn't do, uh, I know that I'm working on the audio right now. Uh, I'm probably going to get a better mic for that. Uh, I have the lapel ones, 
um, but they seem to, you know, not have as great audio. So, uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching again. Uh, and, you know, keep watching. I'll, I'll keep uploading them. Thanks, everyone.